What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Day Trading here on the channel. My name is Justin. Most people call me GDT. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Check out all the links down in the description below for crazy deals on the scanners that I use to find all the plays. Kind of an up and down week this week, but ending it with a banger in today's video. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's go. Let's trade. Alright, so first trade today was here in CVNA. It is hitting on the scanner, but it's a little bit slow, a little bit sluggish, but it's making a nice extension here off of about 39, and we're up to about 41.50. So I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, I can probably play this relatively safe without getting too crazy in this one. So I'm looking to see if we can get up above 41.50 here to start a position in CVNA. Here it's pushing a little bit above. There it is. I go ahead and get my starter short here, 200 shares short at 41.57. And I'll look to get this down below 41.20 at least to start partialing it out if it wants to come back to the downside. So I'm going to go ahead and put 100 shares out at 41.20 if it wants to come down there. But Otherwise, if it wants to push up nicely through 42, that is where I will start looking for the ad. So it does start pushing and gets up actually really nicely through 42. So I'm now watching for a little bit higher, just waiting to kind of find that spot where it looks like it's starting to uh, maybe struggle a little bit. So I'm kind of looking at this half dollar mark, seeing it struggle here in the 40s at 45. So I put an order out at 45, get the fill there at 42.45. Now I have 400 shares short at an average of 42.01. So now I'm just going to wait and see what it does. And here comes a nice move to the downside. Could have maybe been a little bit more patient with that, especially seeing that move. So I took three quarters off, then another half off. So I'm down to 50 shares here and certainly could have done better with this move because it came quickly down below both entries. So a little bit disappointed in it there, but at the same time, it was kind of a slow mover overall. So I was happy just to get the nice quick move in my favor and make a little bit of money. But I'm down to 50 shares now and I'm looking at it. I'm like, okay, if we can get this down below 41, that would be pretty nice for those 50 shares. That would be over a point and a half on those 50 shares from the 42 50 ish range if we can get down below 41 there with those so i'm going to try and wait and see if these can get down below that area but at the same time if this thing starts popping back up because it is relatively strong on the day i'm not going to let it go against me here at all so i'm looking at where i want to put a stop on these uh 50 shares and i'm kind of looking at them like yeah probably just over the 42 dollar whole number I'll probably just put it there and call it a day. So I'm trying to kind of go back and forth, but that's what I decide on. So I go ahead and load it into my stop uh, box here, and I go ahead and put the order out to stop the 50 shares at 42.01 if it pops up above that area. Still hoping it comes down nicely below 41 and maybe even more. So it is coming up towards my stop here, and it's going to go ahead and stop me out pretty quickly on those remaining shares. But that's okay. Made a little bit of money on it, and we'll move on to bigger and better things on the day, including coming back to CVNA here and trading it again later in the morning. So stay tuned for that one because that's the banger. So, But the next trade was here on BBBY, and this one was making a pretty decent move here. I decided to put 200 shares out at 7.98 to front run the eight dollar whole number just in case i wanted to do one of the quick little spikes up to it and then reject down off of it so it's coming up towards my order here can i get a fill at 7.98 i also like those rebates and uh, so getting some rebates there at 7.98 with the 200 share fill and now i will look to see if this can push up through 8.20 need at least through 8.20 for an ad here on bbby for another 200 but we'll see what it does. So it's pushing up here. It gets up to 8.11 there and kind of stalls out, starts coming back down. And it's kind of really struggling to get back up through that 8.11 area. And then it starts coming down quickly. So I'm like, okay, if this thing comes down below 7.80, I'll just take it and be happy with a quick little win here. So there's below 7.80. I click the button, get filled at 7.80, and I'm out with a quick $36 win there. So nothing big there on BBBY, but adding a little bit of money to the day and now up over 100 
Now, CVNA, again, later in the day, it had halted after making a big move to the upside. And then all of a sudden, it's making an even bigger move out of the halt. So I'm watching this coming up through 48, watching what it can do here, if it can push up through 48. So there's through 48, gets a little bit hesitant there. So I get in 100 shares short here at 48.06, and then it starts coming down immediately. Look at this nice move, immediately, immediately right down. So I just go ahead and click my hotkey for cover all, and I get that cover at 46.80. So almost uh, a point and a half on that, $130 on that CVNA trade. Really happy with that one. It finally made the uh, big move there that I was looking for. And if it's kind of hard to see because of the halt spreads it out, but if you squish those candles together, you can see how nice and extended and fast that was. So really happy with that trade in CVNA. And then finally, here on UPST, I was looking for this one to get up through 30. I did have to get locates on this one, but they were only like a dollar eighty, so uh, nothing I was overly concerned or cared about paying. So, <coughs> excuse me. If this thing can get up through thirty here, I'm gonna go ahead and look to start UPST, and we'll see what it can do. So it's pushing up into the nineties here. There's ninety nine. Can it get up through thirty here? There's up through thirty, stalling a little bit. Thirty eleven. I go ahead and click the button at. 3009 and get the fill there short 100 shares at 3009. I will now look to add into this one if it gets up over 3050. But if we look at this one, I was pretty confident in it, but took it smaller share size just because I had to pay for the locates. But if you look at the candle with the range, you look at the volume compared to everything else that's done on the day, this is definitely much more of the intense move that you're that I'm at least looking for when I make my play. So you can see kind of why that looks so much better here. You can see that volume ramp up. You can see the FOMO into those candles. This thing's going up forever. Everybody buy, everybody buy. It's going up, going up forever. It's going to 100. Well, what's it realistically going to do? It's realistically going to pull back because it's pretty overextended. It's made a super big, fast move. There's been a ton of volume coming in. That volume's going to run out because eventually you're going to run out of buyers FOMOing into this thing. So it fails to get up to 30.50 here. Can't make that move higher. So I'm like, all right, if we get down below 29.80, I'll look to kind of just take this one off and be happy with it and call it a trade. So here it comes down pretty quickly here as well. Can we get below 29.80? There it is. I click the button, get the fill at 29.77. Probably could have pieced this one out if I wanted to, but I was having a really nice day. Didn't want to do anything to affect that. So made another quick uh, $32 there in CVNA. And that's going to do it. Up to 60 for me on this Friday. Up and down week, but ended up nice and green overall, especially with the help of today. So I will take that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said earlier, if you haven't already, make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe. It's absolutely free for you. It means a lot for me. I appreciate you being here. I'll catch you next week. Have a great weekend.